Hey guys, and welcome. This is going to be the shave review of the Martin DeCondre Shave Soap. So I did the lather review with the soap and had really, really excellent results. And there are a few things I did cover in the lather review that I would like to mention here because they're very important to this review. So Martin DeCondre is a French shaving soap. And, you know, out there when I check the forums and talk to other wet shavers, stuff like that, this is probably the most widely cited favorite shaving soap by wet shavers out there, which is pretty amazing. So I'm very excited to give this a try. People are always mentioning how much they love this product. But I have not tried this product to date, and that's because of its price. So this is about 54 US dollars for this. And it comes in a 200 gram tub, which is over $7 an ounce. It's just, it's very expensive. You know, it's extremely expensive. So I do expect this to be my favorite shaving soap of all time, or an absolute top shaving soap for it to warrant that price. And even at that, I don't know if I would buy this. You know, I did receive this as a gift, so thank you, Robert. Without you, this review would not have been possible. Anyway, this is just, uh, you know, it's a very interesting soap uh, because it is uh, so highly regarded, but it comes with such a high price tag. So, but from the minute you get it, it's just like exudes luxury and quality. It comes in a very nice, solid box. Here you open it up, I just dropped them on the ground, but it comes with some directions. Comes here in this really heavy duty glass jar. Um, this is 200 grams in here, which is really a lot. And it comes in three different scents. It comes in their original scent, unscented, if you call it a scent, and then uh, their fern scent, which is what I have here. It's a fougere scent, and fougere scents are kind of like uh, citrus, grassy, floral, stuff like that. Really great scent to it. Anyway, I know this isn't like the more in-depth lather review, but that is important to note here. And great ingredient list, which I talked about there. It has stearic acid, water, coconut acid, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, aroma. Six ingredients. Pretty amazing stuff. Anyway, I just got out of the shower, washed out my facial hair in the shower, used some really nice bar soap, so my face, facial hair is hydrated, nice, ready to go. All right, so for today's shape, I'm gonna be using my Simpsons Chubby Tube Best Badger. In the, uh, in the instructions there, it says to use a badger shaving brush. And you know, if soaps or creams come with specific directions, I try to follow those for my review. So it says use badger, so I'm gonna use badger. This knot is a very dense knot, so I'm gonna wring out the extra water in here because it deceptively holds a lot of water. There we go, plenty of moisture in there. So I'm going to go ahead and load up. I'm going to load this upside down like this. I saw some people doing this. I think uh, Shave Nook put up a review of it, or at least a video of this guy lathering it up. He did it this way. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I will follow suit. So kind of an idea of loading upside down like this is that whatever suds or cream or soap that you're getting off your puck is falling down into the brush itself. So instead of uh, adding a little moisture here, so instead of it, you know, going back down on top of the puck, if you're like this, it's gonna fall off into the brush hairs itself. So it's a good idea, you know. I definitely follow that logic. All right, plenty loaded up here. Great scent. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a face lather. I will add a little bit of moisture here to my face. Now I have two days of growth here. Wow, so this is already actually a pretty good lather on there. Look how thick that is. It is something that people do note is that this stuff lathers immediately. I'm definitely experiencing that here. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's just growing on my face. All right, first pass, so I spent some extra time working my facial hair there. And of note, this has a really nice face feel to it. It's kind of light and fluffy, and uh, but it's really thick, as you can see. It just feels hydrating. It feels nice. I mean, it's just something that kind of stands out to me here. All right, so today I'm going to be shaving with my Merker 34C with a fresh Persona blade. And with my favorite blade and my favorite razor for this shave, so I hope this is going to be a good one. So we go ahead, first pass, going with the grain. I'm gonna start here on my sideburn. First pass is going really nicely. You no, know, just cruising right over. All right, 
First pass, feeling great. It was really good. Actually pretty smooth. Okay. Decent amount of slickness left behind here. Not the most. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter as long as it's protecting me. But yeah, not the slickest, just as I'm feeling back here. Going back to the brush, loads of lather left, and reapply for my second pass. All right, lots of lather there, plenty in the brush. So I'm gonna go cross grain here for my second pass. All right, even though I wasn't feeling tons of glide before, getting like no resistance right now, really just cruising right over my, my facial hair. Really enjoying the scent too, by the way. It's not, not overpowering, but it's got a nice presence there. It's just kind of light, refreshing. It's very, very pleasing for sure. No problems with the lather dissipating. Alright, just cruise to that second pass. No problems whatsoever, no burning, just right here. Ooh, my neck feels nice and close. Alright, you need to clean up here. Nice. Alright, once again, not feeling loads of slickness left behind, but you know, not a bad thing as long as it's giving you a slickness during the pass itself. And go back to the brush, reapply here for a third and clean up pass. Pull out, see what we got here. Yeah. Lots, oh my gosh. Lots of lather. I kind of pulled out some of the, the uh, wetness there in the brush just because it holds so much uh, water in there. Loads here, very nice, nice and thick. Feeling great. I can go over these areas pretty much as much as I want. Feeling very nice. No problems, uh, no burning, anything like that. Alright, I've been going over my face a lot here. It just feels like such great protection. I just kind of want to get it nice and close because I'm not having a problem here. All right, let me clean up here for some final remarks. All right, so that was my full shave with the Martin DeCondre Shave Soap. Feeling back here, wow. Very, very smooth shave. Huh, wow. Very happy with that. My neck feels really nice too. It felt really nice even after the first pass, which is pretty odd for me. Didn't get any burning here in my sensitive areas. Feels nice, really nice post shave. Feels really great on the skin. Doesn't feel like it's dried out at all. Feel like I have a nice like moisturizer on right now too. Pretty nice. I like that. All right, a little bit of scent left behind. Very good. All right, so let's go through the points here with Martin DeCondre. Ease of loading. Super easy to load. It's kind of a soft soap. Uh, you know, I could like dent my finger in it. No problems loading up my brush. Ease of lathering. Crazy easy to lather. Just immediately when I started going to my face here, just lather immediately. And the more I kept going, the bigger and better it got. Quality of shave. Very nice or quality of lather. Very good quality of lather. Dense, thick. Had a nice face feel, which did stick out to me as something kind of unique about this. And uh, overall quality of lather is nice, thick, dense um, slickness. Not the slickest, but as long as the lather is on there, you know, usually, so slickness is so important to me because if it's not there, I get usually a burning sensation when I go over a place a couple of times, especially my mustache here. I like going over it a ton, as you can see there in the video, just getting it really nice and smooth. I just enjoy that a lot. And usually if the slickness isn't there, I just get a burning sensation, I can't go over it, I have to stop due to, you know, I'm going to get some sort of razor burn or irritation. Um, anyway, not the slickest, but, you know, it was there, and as long as I slap on a little bit of extra fresh lather, I could go over it a couple times, a little more lather, and I didn't get any burning whatsoever. So it's pretty unique. Uh, post shave, post shave feels amazing, very, very nice, you know. I would just go with this, you know, I'm going to bed after this, I don't think I'm going to put anything on, I don't think I need to. So. Is it worth the cost? Uh, so the, the biggest factor here with the Martin DeCondre is the price. The jar is $54. That's over $7 an ounce. I haven't even, this is like double the cost of the most expensive soap I've reviewed to date. And does the performance justify the cost? 
I'm gonna go out there and say no. You know, there are just so many great shaving soaps out there. There's tons of amazing artisan soap makers here in the U.S. are producing these amazingly high quality shaving soaps that just give such great shaves that are as good, if not even better than this. You know, this is definitely a top-notch soap for me. Absolutely, it's among there. It's right at the top. But you know, there's other soaps right there with it, you know, that give just as good of quality of shave. So you know what, I don't think it's worth it. You know, will I use this soap in the future? Absolutely. It's a great soap, amazing shave from it, excuse me. But you know what, would I purchase this? No, probably not. You know, this is going to probably be my only tub of it and only because I received it as a gift. So anyway, let me know if you've used Martin DeCondre, if you like it, if you don't, if you think the price is worth it. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and more videos to come.